I want to hear that tally well. Just unmute, unmute your video, sir. Unmute your video, Dr. Oh, we can hear him. We can hear him because we just want to understand. Hey. Let, it, let him just unmute, of course. We're being joined, of course, by Dr. Uh, Dr. Patel just to understand. Bona, bona mademu fara uso, Ian. Where are you now on a franga uso? The hormones. The hormones. From the top, doctor. Let's start from the top. How are you, first of all? I'm fine, thank you. Can you see me now? Now I can see you and hear you are live on Kansas number one talk show, Doctor Vero tonight. Let's appreciate that, Tari. Thank you, thank you very much for having me. Now, Doctor, I am one of the very luckiest men who uh, I've impregnated two women, so uh, I, I I know what I'm talking about. So my first my first uh, ex wife has two children, and my current ex wife has one kid, and they have never changed how they look. They was still as beautiful during that time. But now the question is, why do women change how they look? What happens? Lots of things happen. Pregnancy happens. The hormones change. The hormones make things different. Lots of things change. Yes. All parts of your systems change. Your lungs change. Your heart changes. Even the direction of the heart changes. The amount you breathe. The amount you breathe changes. The way your liver works, your kidneys work, changes. You will notice even the women, the way they walk, it changes. Yes. The back changes. Kunam gongo, shida. All these things change. Got everything to do with hormones in pregnancy. So let me ask, huh? uh, let me, let me, let me, because yeah. I'm just getting interested. Yeah. So of course there's a hormonal yeah. change and everything. So the second question is, why is it that there are women who their body changes, but the women who literally still maintain the beauty in quotes, if if I can use that statement, what is it that the women who don't change? Is it because their 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 hormones are kichwangumu or what happens? <laughs> I think it's got to do with genetics and luck. There is no, nothing else I can say. Nothing else you can say? Nothing else I can say. Genetics and luck, nothing good. else. Good, good to know that. Uh, and another question many men are asking themselves tonight as they're watching Dr. Ferrer tonight is, why is it that yeah. women, when they get pregnant, they start eating stones? My wife, my ex-wife almost ate the bedroom. I almost came back to a bed sitter. <laughs> It's a true story, doctor. It's a true story. She kept it. There's a day I looked for her uh, in the middle of the night, around two in the middle of the night, only to find her uh, in an unfinished uh, um, building being constructed. And she just wanted to be around the smell of stones and cement. What happens? Yes. So many of this has got to do with a deficiency of some sort of micronutrients. Okay. For example, if you had brought her to me at that time, I would have prescribed her some calcium to eat. And this usually helps them reduce the urge to have these kinds of things. Okay. Then why is it that yes. there are some children who hate their father in the stomach? Because I women like, oh, I don't, I don't want to see my husband. Oh, I'll vomit. You now the impregnator becomes disgusting. Is that explainable? Yeah. That one now, that one we have to, we have to discuss further. Yeah. Did it happen to you? Well, I, I was lucky enough, but I know, I know one of one of my friends. Um, uh, uh, the pregnancy didn't want to see him. It's like, so my, my my wife would tell me at that time, please don't come with so and so because every time the baby sees so and so, I, I just feel like, uh, I just feel like I want to vomit, and I thought maybe it has a thing to do with uh, sensing hormones as well. <laughs> you have to realize that the hormonal changes in the pregnancy uh -huh. can also affect mental health. Ah. Right. So, so there's certain aspects of mental health whereby you even have problems with relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Relationships with other people, relationships with your significant other as well. These are some of the things you need to keep in mind. So, so yes, it may happen not directly, but through mental health issues as well. Sensitive, okay. sensitive matter, bro. Beautiful. Dr. Raj, before I, I release you, um, one final question. Uh, I'm, I'm asking right. this again on behalf of men. Are cravings real? Or are they a punishment for us impregnating them? 
Just repeat that again. Did you say cravings? Yeah, the cravings. Are they real or are they a punishment? And please be careful just in case you're married as well. Let me just see if she's here. No, she's I, outside. I she can't hear me. Thank God I don't have any, so I, I'm very much safe. Yeah, because I kind of feel, this is a story. Let me give you a very short story before I release you. When my ex was Debbie. pregnant for my second kid, Debbie, she woke me up at around two in the middle of the night to go and get her Omena. You know Omena or Omina? In, Omena, in, in, yes. in, in, in Yeah, yes, Omena. Yes, yes. There's Omena, Omena. Yes, yeah, so she go, she go and get Omena. Then I went all the way to Nakumat, UK, back in the days. Go to the Omena. Wow. Came and cooked, and then Omena has no secrets. No. The smell and the, the sound of how you would <laughs> So neighbors knew I am making Omena, shame on me. And then I brought Omena in the bedroom, and she only ate a piece of the, actually she ate the head. I left the, and she told me she's satisfied. After two hours of a total search of Omena, and I felt like in what I saw never to impregnate a lady ever again. Then I did again. You're such a nice guy. You're such a nice guy. Cravings, cravings actually happen. And they are a fact. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing that I as a medical doctor can explain. Uh -huh. It just happens. It's, it's just inconceivable why somebody would become so crazily reliant on having that particular thing at that particular time of the day. But you, you know it. So, okay, so we just have to do because a friend of mine yesterday, also the wife, uh, told me that, they, that, that, that she has a craving for, the, for, for his WhatsApp password. <laughs> now, that one, that one I'm not too sure of, huh? What is about it? So, I was leaves you five tips on how to handle an expectant woman. Five things to do and not to do, either for the man or the woman during pregnancy. Please, for the men that are watching, before I release you. Okay. You've got to realize that the pregnant woman is the queen, whether you like it or not. You have no choice. She is the queen and you are her servant. You have to be there for her, not no matter what. You're not very encouraging, craving, but it's okay. No cravings. Whatever the craving is, whatever time it is and whatever she needs, she will have to get it done. You will have to get it done. Remember, you're the man of the house. Make sure she gets what she wants. Treat her like the queen. This is a summary of all the five points. Does this include the ATM uh, pin number as well? I'm, I'm just asking. That depends, that depends on the bank balance. I'll give what is empty. Now I see you. Uh, thank you. You've helped me with that. <laughs>